Hello there, welcome to another week in my garden. Very, very cold this week. I've been waiting all week to get the raspberries in, and the raspberries have actually been frozen in the pots that I put them in. But I haven't been not doing anything. I've been in the shed. They're having a Christmas fair down at the village. While I've been in the shed waiting for the weather, I made them some door rings and I'm going to donate those so that it help raise some funds okay I'll just show you them right, we come down to the bottom of the garden and I'm just going to lift a few carrots for the weekend now we're leaving them as long as possible in the ground if it gets really bad then I will have to lift them and store them but at the moment we're doing all right by leaving them so we'll keep them in for a short while okay As you can see they're, they're typically my carrot but they're fine we'll use those they'll be fine that's a good one there look take those up I'll just put them in the trunk I have noticed while I've been coming up and down the garden in, while it's been frosty that this cover has kept some of the frost off I'm quite pleased with that that's not a very good one but they're fine look they'll do nicely not for the show bench but I can assure you the taste is absolutely delicious lovely carrots those I'm well pleased with them I'll just cover this back down with its, with its cover and make sure they're all nicely covered up and then we'll go and pick some leek and some brussels and some kale even if it's only for the chickens the kale and we'll have a look at the broccoli see if there's any of that ready and then we must put those raspberries in Here are three leeks ready for the, going up for the table. Now remember these aren't the, the main leeks, these are just a few of the leeks that were left over. The mess on the floor, I will be coming down with the wheelbarrow so I'll take all the mess back up with me, I won't leave it down here. Let's go and have a look at some Brussels sprouts. Right, we're in the Brussels patch and as you can see they, they're absolutely stunning if anybody who doesn't grow brussels and you've got enough room to grow them i can't recommend enough growing brussels because the taste is it's a different different taste from the ones you purchase there they've had no chemicals except for soap even the granddaughters will eat them and i love them okay so let's harvest some straight all right as you can see lovely brussels and they're, they're firm I've put the gloves on try and keep them clean after lifting those carrots so I'll take the some of these off and some of those okay well 
work my way up one row and then I'll do it the next one. There you go. Uh, I'll just take a few off this one. And the, the idea with your brussels is don't take too many off because the best place to store your brussels is on the air. The, even if there's a frost, you actually improve the flavour of them. And these have been well frozen this week, I can show you. So the taste will be superb. That'll be enough for now. I will probably grow this variety again next year. There have been no problem at all. Right, we'll have a look at the broccoli and the kale, see if we want a little bit, and then we'll get these canes in, okay? I'm just going to take this broccoli head here. Uh, I'm not going to take all the cover off. I'm just going to reach in and cut it off. Take a bit of kale. Uh, I think I'll just take a bit for the chickens. There you go, very nice that one look. I'll just take those outers off, taking a bit of broccoli off there, never mind. There you are, that'll go up to the house nicely. It's a very full head and I'll just get a bit of kale for the chickens. Just before we look at the veg that we lifted, I'm just checking over the geraniums that we've got in storage, if you can remember. This is that. It's had no water since that day we put it in, but you need to go round and look for this sort of thing now that's dying. You see, that's not making anything now. Just to get in there and snip that off. See how it's, it's finished, so we need to get rid of that. See, we'll take that off. These are fine yet. If they die back anymore, I'll take that one off. They will break, even where you don't think they're going to break. So I'll pop this back in the shed and they'll be fine then. Right, we've had a little walk to the bottom of the garden and back and harvested some crops. So we'll just go through it what we've got. You've got those carrots from the bottom. Some of the leeks that were coming along nicely but we'll, we'll take those first and before we take the main crop nice piece of broccoli i think the broccolis are doing better because they've got that cover on but and some sprouts the sprouts are absolutely delicious i'm well pleased with all the crop now i like this kale but i'll probably give that to the chickens it's nice to be harvesting something from your garden all year round and now we're getting into winter is the testing times a crop like that this time of year I'm very satisfied. Right, these first six that we're putting at this end are polka, as you can see. Polka. These are late ones. These would be primo canes. That means that they will fruit on the current year's growth. So they grow and fruit that year's canes, okay? But to put them in, as you can see, we can't put them with great big things on. So what we're going to do is just take them off to about there, spread them a bit. This one's not too bad, but I'll just clean it. So we'll get these three in and then we'll show you. Okay, take these away. We don't want them. I'll just get the fork. Now they look a bit close to the others, but remember when these are up, these are these will be grubbed we don't want those no more we're going for these better berries so now remember these are only shallow rooted so you don't want a good deep at all the ground is very very wet because it's the frost has just come out of it got to get them in don't want a stone in it terracotta so here we are look just take that away just spread them out a bit they don't want to be any deeper than what they were in the nursery lines, you see. Now this this will stick a bit, but it'll be all right. That be fine. I'll top dress this with some good compost later on. Not yet. I'll just get them in today, and we'll go here. Same again. Already been trimmed. Nice plants. Just spread them out best you can. These will thicken up and make a good crop. And what I've done, I've put the I put the later fruiting ones at this end because of the hedge, and there's a bit of shade 
early spring so it won't warm up very quick but it will at that end so we'll put the early back in. Okay let's go again. I don't remember. Let go a bit. Oops. Let's put this one, I've already trimmed it. Just spread them out and no no deeper than what they were. Very, very wet the one, but it doesn't matter. At least they're in. I'm happy when they're in. Right, so I'll finish this run and then we'll start on the next one, okay? Now, the centre variety I'm going to use is Glen Fine. It's a mid season crop. These are what we call flurry canes. Now, flurry canes fruit on last year's canes so if you remember like these are up now that's how you have to leave this variety so that one will fruit on the current year's canes this variety will fruit on last year's canes it's worth remembering when you get going i'll just pop these in again no different to what there was in in the nursery rows let's push them well in Dirty old job, but I like it. Just tidy that up a bit, and then that's that row done as well. Now, if there was any frost in this ground, I wouldn't do it at all, because if the ground's frozen, when you put them onto these roots, they will obviously burn the roots, and just not worth doing. So that's the second variety in. Now we'll move to the third. Show you this, this plant before we pop it in. Beautiful plant, but far too much root. We'll, we'll never get all that lot in. So if we take it about there, look, six inch, and then we'll just trim off. So that's made a nice plant ready for planting. And I've done that to all. So I'll finish off and then come back to you. Right, the end variety we're putting in is Raspberry Malin Juno. It's one of the new ones from the Malin nurseries. Well, the Malin breeders. So they assure me these are excellent very early. Putting them in this end so that the, the spring sun will warm them up better for getting the early crop. Now these are again floricanes. So they will fruit on last year's canes so remember we must leave these canes to come up and then they'll fruit on last year's canes so we'll get these three in and we'll explain what we're doing with these these boards again no deeper than the nursery but as you can see it's very sticky on this I will top dress them but not this moment it's far too wet to get real bad. They've all been trimmed so they should be fine. Right I'll just run the fork along there to tidy it. Right we've got them all in there was only 18 but after a couple of seasons they'll really fill up this row the stakes i've put in will be to hold wires so i can tie them up as we go because the hybrid varieties will be substantial plants so we want to make sure we can tie them in i've hammered the stakes in prior to planting but they will need knocking in again and securing up the far too wobbly at the moment but at least they're in the ground a good 18 inch and so we'll tighten those up we'll give them a mulch in a few weeks and we'll look after them they look a bit tight on everything else but you imagine that some of these other things will be grubbed out as these come on the strawberries are in the last season then we're going to start or the, nearly the last season shall we say and then we're going to start building a raised bed behind me ready for where the strawberries are going to go the next crop and we'll rub these out and put some hybrids in exactly the same as we're doing with the raspberries 
these have served as well but they're now been superseded by these better plants I, I've got the raspberries in and I've got blueberries in and I'm so pleased I've got them in because as the weather changes I would never get them in if it does change for the worse so I'm very very happy I've got these in okay right it's Friday again today another short video but the weather is against us now so I'll be doing as much as I can while the weather holds and we'll film what we can so but if you can just bear with me some weeks we won't be able to film because of the weather so we'll get them in as and when as soon as we can okay there's still a lot of work to do <laughs> okay then bye now